Hi guys, your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Fitty's Kitchen. So in today's episode, we're gonna be making crepes. So I love crepes personally. It's something that I always look forward to eating. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make crepes when you're at home with a regular frying pan. So you don't need to get a crepe pan, which is something that's normally used to make crepes. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it with a regular frying pan. So the first thing you're gonna need is some flour. Flour is gonna be the main um, ingredient for this. So I'm using all purpose flour. And then you're gonna need vanilla extract, granulated sugar, eggs, and milk, and some water. Okay, so let's get right into it. So I'm gonna use a measuring cup and I'm going to take out one cup of flour. Perfect. Get that all in there. And then I'm gonna use three fourths of a cup of milk. I'm gonna crack two eggs right into the bowl. One tablespoon of sugar. So if you have like a spoon, you can just use that. And then half of a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then you're gonna need a little bit of water. Add that in there. And then grab yourself a whisk and whisk it all together. So when you're whisking, you wanna make sure that you're whisking until all of like the little lumps of flour are pretty much gone. And this is definitely something I would recommend doing with a hand whisk, just because you don't wanna over mix it with an electric mixer. So this is something fun for you to make, like on a Sunday. You wanna impress your friends, make something a little different. And it's important that you make sure that your mixture is very loose and wet. Because if you see, when you usually go to a crepery, if you go and get crepes, it's something that they literally pour into the skillet. So this is the consistency we're looking to have. Just like very loose. A very loose mixture. Hey guys, so during this part of my video, my mic actually went out and I didn't even realize it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to talk and I'm gonna tell you guys um, some of the things that you need to know for this part of the video. So here I'm just telling you guys that I made some crepes in advance and anytime that you're making something with a batter, whether it's pancakes or it's crepes, you really want to test it out before you try it for your guests or before you make it in front of your guests. Because if it's your first time using a certain type of batter, it could just fall apart. So I made some in advance to make sure that when I was showing you guys how to make it, that the batter was, um, you know, something that I can use, that it was a good batter. So I'm using a really hot pan. You can see that my fire is on high and I sprayed my pan with cooking spray. Here I'm going to pour my batter into the frying pan. I'm using a nonstick frying pan. And now I'm just swiveling the batter all around the surface of the frying pan. And the key to this is you really want to make sure that the batter evenly coats the bottom of the pan because then it could your um, crepe will come out too lumpy and you really don't want it to come out lumpy. You want it to be really nice, fluffy, and flat. So now, this part, I'm just telling you guys that um, I'm basically gonna let it cook because even though it is a thin piece of bread, like substance, the um, crepe, you still wanna make sure that it cooks thoroughly. And so now I'm using a rubber spatula and I'm just pressing down on the crepe and on the corners of it to making sure that the heat is circulating throughout the entire pan. So now I'm just gonna flip that over. 
and now I'm going to press down on it because what happens is sometimes the air bubble gets inside the crepe and so you really just want to press down on it. And of course this um, is just an alternative if you don't have a crepe pan so it's not going to be like a perfect crepe but I will tell you guys that I've had made this crepe before um, for a lot of my co-workers at work and I put my b banana foster mixture in there i'll make a link to that i mean my i put my banana foster inside and it was delicious like when i tell you people were literally fighting over it <laughs> they were literally fighting for fighting over it so it's really 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 simple and that's why i wanted to make it for you guys so here you can see i'm just holding it over and this is just an easy way for you to take it out so that it doesn't um break and also so that it stays warm because me I like having crepes warm so with this what I have done before is I have um, warmed it up before because I think I had some extra crepe left over after filming this and I brought it home to my niece and um, I warmed it up for her and she really liked it but you can also make it to order again so you know if someone wants a crepe and you want to be fancy if you're having a house party or if you're having some guests over if you're doing it with your kids whatever you can make it right there in front of them and you can see i'm making this in real time it doesn't take long at all it's really simple so do not be deterred so this is the second crepe that i'm making for you guys you see that i'm just messing with the corners and the reason why i'm doing that is to make sure that the crepes are easy for me to flip and that they're not sticky to the pan. And this is a um a Gotham Steel frying pan. Um, I'll put a link to it in my bio for you guys. And again, I'm just going to press down on the crepe so that it's no air bubble in the crepe. Because again, when you get a crepe from a creperie, it's flat. And that's going to make sure that it cooks evenly. I just love when they have a little color on them. And so after this, I'm going to remove this crepe. And then, guys, stay tuned because you're going to see how I serve these crepes, the different toppings that I have for these crepes. So this other part, the mic did work. So you guys will hear me in real time. guys so now I'm gonna show you guys how to load these crepes up so there's um, a couple different ways you can serve crepes so the first thing you can do is I'm gonna take some chocolate sauce I'm gonna put it on the inside so if you want to make your chocolate sauce if you have like Nutella spread you can use that this chocolate sauce recipe I actually have so I'll put the link for that for you guys and then you can actually put some I have some bananas some strawberries on the inside. Then you can put some caramel sauce, whatever sauce you have, and some whipped cream. You can enjoy it like that. Or You can roll it the other way. I'm gonna spread this. I'm gonna roll the crepe. Your fruit. And your strawberries. A little bit of whipped cream. So there you have it. So again, this is a fun recipe for you to try at home. You can make your own crepes. And whatever you want, any toppings that you have, if you want to put some jam or some nuts or whatever you have, you can use it and stuff your crepes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now I want to see you guys send me pictures of the crepes that you make at home in your pan. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys thought of this video. I think I'm going to try this one. Enjoy.